everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recover Charter.net account. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. Open up a web browser and type in Charter.net into the web address bar and press enter on your keyboard. Now, in the official website, click on the sign in button. In the sign in area, you'll need to type in your username followed by your password to get access to your Charter.net or Spectrum.net account. If you don't remember your password during login into your account, then you can simply scroll all the way down and click the forgot username or password link. In case you've forgotten your username and you'd like to get help recovering your username, then you can simply go ahead and select the contact info or the account info option and fill in the rest of the information as asked in the text box. If you've chosen account info, you'll need to type in the account number associated with Charter.net account. Type in the security code as well, which can be found on your billing statement or in your order confirmation email or text message. If you've selected contact info, go ahead and type in your phone number or your email address associated with Charter.net account. If you remember your username and you'd like to reset your password, you can select the username and zip code option and type in the username associated with your account and enter the zip code in the next field. Soon after you fill in one of the information, click on I'm not a robot at the bottom and click the next button. Once you do that, your identity will be verified and you'll be guided on further instructions in order to recover your account. Enter your new password you'd like to reset to along the process and you'll be able to reset your password to a new one and recover your Charter.net account even if you've forgotten your credentials. That is how you can easily do it. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.